What's up guys, it's Jeremy Blanton. And today I wanted to take a few minutes. I had a comment come in on a video I did the other week on cost of living in Myrtle Beach, where I kind of went through 2022 costs, um, talked about you know what it costs for gas right now, a gallon of milk, houses, all that kind of stuff. Well, yesterday or the day before I received this comment from someone and um, it kind of had me puzzled a little bit and you know everybody's an expert now in real estate i only sell it and i've only done it for 20 years but what do i know i'm just a salesman i get it so i figured i would take a few minutes today and share number one this comment with you and then kind of break it down for you and see who is right who's wrong i'll let you all make the decision on this um, but let's first take a second and read his comment to make sure that I get this right, I have it printed out here so that I can get it. And it's rather long, so please just bear with me a second. Interesting video, but as a resident for the last three and a half years, he's lived here for three and a half years, can't say I agree with much of the content. While I do agree with this B area being somewhat affordable in comparison to other areas, calling it affordable with relative to housing isn't truly accurate. Well, first off, let's just talk about this a second. What's the biggest expense that everyone has in their lives, wherever you live? Housing's probably the most expensive thing that you're gonna deal with on a regular basis. So I would say that's kind of an important thing. So he already is contradicting himself in the fact that he says, while I agree with you that it's fairly affordable, it's not affordable in housing. Okay, but I digress, moving on. He goes on then to say, it isn't truly accurate. 300K will only buy you a very small and very old home. Newer construction, 500K plus with less than 2,400 square feet. Larger than that and quality construction, you are now in the range of 700 to 800K and growing. Can't trust medians and averages for true perspective on housing market. Doesn't give you an accurate representation. Well, we're gonna break this down into some different segments for it. And uh, we're gonna let you guys kind of make the decision. Who do you think is right and who's wrong? So let's get into this. As you can see, here's a home on the screen. This is directly from our MLS. Um, I sold this home, it's actually closing tomorrow for a great couple moving down here from Pennsylvania. Um, and as that commenter said, you can only buy a home for 300,000 if you buy something that's old or small. Well, here's a home that's out in Conway. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. It is brand new. Take out some of these photos. Um, you can see great home, huge 2300 heated square feet. It's gonna have solid surface floors downstairs, granite countertops, has a front entrance come in. You got an office to the side. You got a powder room downstairs, a large living room area opened up with the kitchen granite countertops, they have all their appliances, they have blinds on the windows, everything was included. Upstairs then you have four bedrooms as well. Um, and you can see from these pictures, it's a very nice home that is being built by DR Horton. My clients are buying this house, it's closing tomorrow. And uh, if we go back here a minute and look, you can see the purchase price on this home is $317,000. So as you can see, I mean, this isn't an old home, but let's jump over a minute and do a little search and I will show you what all is in our MLS. And so I actually started the search already. I'm setting up active homes that are detached. We're gonna say up to 300,000. And he said it's only homes that are gonna be old that are gonna be available. So if I come down through here and I look for the approximate year built, we'll say homes that are five years or less. So right now we're in 2022. So if we say homes built after 2017 and do a search of that, you'll see there's still 58 homes that are for sale. Um, quick search and here they are. All types of homes that are out there under the $300,000 price point. Um, so is it that only homes under 300 are available now that are old? ancient and decrepit, I would say no. Let's go back to his comment here a minute. Newer construction, 500K plus, with less than 2,400 square feet. Larger than that quality construction, you're now in the 700 to 800,000 range. Well, take a look at these homes that I found. This is some new construction stuff for you that's out there. So I wanted to pull up one of the nation's largest builders, D.R. Horton. 
Here's a couple floor plans in their release over here on the right. Uh, every week right now they send us a release sheet with here's what's currently for sale being released this week. These are homes that should be ready in the next six to eight weeks um, with D.R. Horton. And so he said homes over 2,400 square feet are going to be well over 500K. So the first home that I wanted to show you is the Forester floor plan. Um, he said it, has to, it won't be over 2,400 square feet. Well, you can see right here, this one is 2,643. And if we take a look at the floor plan and pull it up here, you can see it's a great two-story home. It's got a nice foyer entrance with a dining room area and a whole open area. There's a bedroom that's downstairs. And then you have this huge upstairs area with bedroom, bedroom, master suite with a walk-in closet that is just massive. It could really be another bedroom. It's that large. And um, this is one floor plan. This is the Forester. And so if I go over here to our list of homes and I just simply search for a Forester, you're going to see here's a Forester right now. Let me move this out of the way so you can see it. Here's a Forester that's for sale at Heather Glen up on the northern end of the beach. And the purchase price on this one is $442,950. That's brand new. It's going to have granite countertops. It's going to have wood floors. It's going to have a lot of nice upgrades in the home in that $440 price range. So is that one fitting his description? No. Um, the next home then that I wanted to show you is over at the parks at Carolina Forest. And this is another amazing floor plan. It's called the Tillman. And so if we go in here and we click and look at this one, probably one of my favorite floor plans that's right now out there. It's a two-story home, but it has a great living area downstairs with an open kitchen, a formal dining room. It has the master bedroom downstairs. It has its own master suite with a large closet that you walk in. Um, it has a big uh, master bathroom area as well. And then when you come upstairs, you have this huge, massive loft that's like 19 by 15. It is really, really big, as well as then bedrooms two, three, four, and five in this home. And um, this home, as he said, nothing's going to be over 2,400 square feet. This home, as you can see right here, is 3,024 square feet. And if we go back then to our list, you can see right here at Heather Glen, there's a Tillman that's for sale for 476,000. Um, if I search and I look now, some of the areas, yes, they're going to be over the 500 mark. But as you can see here, here's one at Hidden Brook for 458,000. Also, by the way, I didn't pull it up, but here's a Willow Oak, which is another home over 2,400. Um, there's also then a Tillman here at the parks at Carolina Forest for 490,000, still under that $500,000 mark. And uh, let's see, here's another one. This one's over uh, in this development, and a lot of it has to do with the location and the lots. Um, and then there's a few more Tillmans, and these are also going to be over because these are in their Emerald line. Um, I actually have one of these that's selling in a few weeks here. And when you do their Emerald line properties, what they do then is they have wood floors throughout. They're going to have, instead of even granite, it's usually going to be a higher end quartz or marble for countertops. Uh, you're going to have, instead of just a basic fiberglass insert shower, you're going to have a nice spa walk-in shower type thing, uh, high-end cabinets in the home. The house has hardy planks, side load garage, a lot of really nice features that you're getting additional upgrades in the home for that little bit over the $500,000 mark. So is this a thing that's going to be too much? I don't know. Let's take a look at the next one here. This next one then is a Hanover. This Hanover floor plan, if we take a look at the images of it, here you can see once again, it's a two-story home where you come in the foyer. You have a flex room to the right, which you can use however you'd like, a family dining room area, a kitchen, and then upstairs you have four bedrooms once again, walk-in closet in the master suite. A lot of real nice options in this home. And this Hanover, if we go back to our list and we search again, this home is for sale right now for the whopping price of $355,000. So it's under 400K even for a home. And oh, by the way, square footage wise, uh, let's go back here. You can see it's 2,800 heated square feet. So 
Once again, another home. If we go on to pick another house here, this is a Hayden, which is another one being built at Bells Lake, up right near Barefoot Landing area. Prime location, close to Barefoot Landing and everything that North Myrtle Beach has available. This one, we look at the floor plan again, you can see another great two-story home that you come in the door. You have a flex room. You have all kinds of nice living and dining area with a kitchen, a bedroom downstairs, and then you have several master suite uh, with bedrooms upstairs. And this, once again, is a five-bedroom house. So is the statement that to get a home with over 2,400 square feet going to cost you over 500000 no, that's not the case at all. And uh, if we stop a minute, I'm going to pause a minute and pull back up the MLS because I want to show you not only is this true for new construction, but it's also true for resales and other things in the MLS. So give me one second. I'm going to pause this a second and then we'll jump over. All right, so we're back now in our MLS. And once again, I'm going to just pull up everything that's active right now for sale. And uh, we're going to say 500000 is our maximum price that we're going to spend. Once again, just so that we get just detached homes, we're going to take out the manufactured stuff. Here's the search. There's 723 properties right now. But if we go down in here and look at square footage, we can search by a minimum amount. So we're going to say we want to have a minimum of 2,400 heated square feet. And we're going to hit search. And you can see here once again is a list of 96 homes for sale in our area with square footage well over 2,400 heated square feet. Um, if I go in here and I'm just going to randomly pick a house, uh, let's pick this one here at the gates and just see. This house is 3,050 square feet. Let's take a look at it. Five bedrooms, three baths, beautiful two-story home with brick on the front, fenced backyard, looks like it has a little seating area, looks like wood flooring in it, nice big kitchen, a lot of great features in this home for well under the $500,000 mark. So once again, I would say this statement of get a home with 2,400 square feet, you got to get at least 500 or spend over 500,000. That's not true either. All right, now let's take a minute and just show you what will 800,000 get you here in our area. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry, it's actually the next day. Uh, I didn't have time to finish filming this part last night. Uh, you can see I got a different color shirt on even. Um, but the last part of this statement in his comments said that, um, where was it? It said that with less than 2,400, to find anything that is quality construction, you're now in the range of 700 to 800 and growing. As I showed you already, you can find that for under, but I wanted to take a second and just show you what can you get in that 700 to $800,000 range? Well, here's a quick search that I did of our MLS, homes 500 to 800,000. I just wanna kinda of show you what's out there in our quote, luxury market here for Myrtle Beach. And I'm just gonna go in here, open this up, and uh, we're gonna just pick a few homes. Uh, here's one that I wanna show you. It's in the farm at Carolina Forest. Uh, I referenced it last week as the best, quote, value neighborhood HOA for what all you get. Well, here's a home to give you an idea. This is a five bedroom, three and a half bath house. The home, as you can see here, is 3,252 heated square feet. Gorgeous home, nice two story with a second floor balcony porch on the front. Great lot, has privacy in the back with the woods and the pond behind it. And as you see, here's the inside. Nice large kitchen, they have ceramic tile flooring throughout, granite counters, a backsplash, gas range, all kinds of great space in this home. Um, beautiful home that's available for five under 550. Next, let's go back here to the list, and we're going to jump up here into the more expensive stuff um, to kind of show you that seven to eight hundred range that he was discussing and saying that now to get anything, it's going to be at least seven to eight hundred. Well, let me show you what you get actually in the seven to eight hundred. Sorry, it's taking a minute to kind of scroll through it all, um, but here we go. So here's one for sale, seven hundred thousand even in Waterbridge. This is a new construction home. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath house, thirty one hundred heated square feet. Gorgeous home, looks like it sits on a cul-de-sac. Look at the finishings that they do inside these houses. Um, this is now a custom built, so it's gonna have higher quality all around. You're gonna have gorgeous showers like this being built in the property. All the space is getting used. Um, and it's gonna be an overall really nice home. Um, if we go back to our list here a minute and let's just jump up again 
to another development. Um, we'll go over here. This one's in Plantation Point. Plantation Point is over inside Myrtle Beach City Limits. You're a mile and a half from the beach. Four bedrooms, three baths, 3,400 square foot home. Huge house that you can get in that price point. Now, this one's a little bit older because the development is, but you can get a fantastic location. The home that's right next to it here was that Plantation Lakes for 750 Check out this home. I've actually been in this house before. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath home, 3,200 heated square feet. But check out some of the way this home is finished inside. Um, there's going to be beautiful coffered ceilings, uh, a huge dining room area. Look at the ceiling in there. That's a lot of detail work that's put into a home. You don't find that in the spec homes, but this is all of this for under 750,000. And then just for fun, let's jump up here to the most expensive home. Um, in that 800 and we're going to pick this one on Carolina Waterway. Oh, that's a to be built. So let's pick something else here. We'll pick this one. Well, this is another to be built, um, but this is over in the Grand Dunes for 709. Oops, I jumped actually the wrong way. So let's go back here. Sorry. Um, we'll come back here. This one's in Litchfield Plantation. Four bedrooms, three and a half bath house for 800,000. 2,900 heated square feet. Beautiful two story brick home sits on a nice lot look at all the detail in the ceiling and the floors high quality stuff put in the kitchen you're getting KitchenAid appliances instead of the cheap stuff um, you're getting a lot of really nice things so mr. Dunton's comment of you have to spend seven to eight hundred to get quality no when you spend seven to eight hundred thousand you're gonna get luxury all right so I've now shown you some different properties that are out there and Hopefully the claims that Mr. Dutton have made, I've been able to show you, aren't truly accurate of the Myrtle Beach area. We still are an affordable area. Our average price point here in Myrtle Beach is right around that 315,000 point. His point about you can't use averages and medians to get a true accurate representation, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, that's what most people do is they take the most expensive, the least expensive, they average it all out and that's where they kind of come up with what is the cost of living in an area. So the average in our area right now is that 300 to 315,000 price point. Um, now, if he's talking maybe about homes right along the beach, yeah, in that case, Mr. Dunton, you're right. To have a home right along the beach, you're not gonna get it in that $300,000 price point. But if you take Ori and Georgetown counties, which is the areas that I service for real estate, where I help people buy homes, the average for those two counties together is right around the $315,000 price point. Homes in our area are definitely still available. New construction things can be found out there. You can get larger homes for under 500,000. And when you get into that 700 to $800,000 range, you are into custom homes that are going to be amazing, have some awesome features and things that you wouldn't expect to see in a normal house. In comparison, you take homes that are going to be found in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Boston, California, Washington, Arizona. I could go on and list houses and neighborhoods over and over in states across the country, and they're gonna be twice to three times the cost in a lot of those places than what they cost here in the Myrtle Beach area. I think what Mr. Dutton's point is this, the homes used to be a lot less in our area, and he is correct there. But I've shared with you guys over the last year, year and a half about prices in our area consistently going up and up. Yes, those homes a year and a half ago were probably 250 to 275 as an average price point, and now they're over 300,000. So in that sense, yes, home values have gone up. But if you look at homes across the entire country, home values have gone up there as well. So in relation to everything across the country, we're still an affordable place to live. When you look at things like taxes, we're the sixth lowest state in the country for property taxes. Yes, you pay it on your vehicles, I get it. But when you average those two things together, you're still much more affordable than other places across the country. Hopefully you guys found value today in this. And I'm sorry for taking time. If I seem a little frustrated with it, I am. Because guys, we have a great place here in Myrtle Beach and it is an awesome place to live. And I wanna make sure that you all understand what the values are that you can get here in our area. If you're thinking about making a move to the area, my information's down below. I can help you here. And listen, before you go sell your house up north, 
reach out to me. Let me help coordinate things so that we can make the whole transaction smooth and easy. If you don't want to move to Myrtle Beach, that's fine as well. I have an awesome network. I can help you get places anywhere in the country. I'm here to do whatever I can for you. My info's down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Get that bell on and subscribe so you can catch every video moving forward and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.